Hi, fantastic teachers. Have you ever shaken your head at the curriculum sign? It's too complex for my pupils. If so, you're not alone. And today I'm going to share with you three tips to get out of these disheartened feelings. Let's see how you can simplify your teaching life. When you simplify your teaching life, then of course, first you no longer feel disheartened and then you move forward with determination in the direction you've given yourself. And third bonus, you complete your work with calm. So as a teacher, you want to follow the curriculum, but at the same time, you also know what your pupils are able to do and not able. And when you look at the curriculum and when you look at your students' levels, your pupils' level, you sometimes tell yourself, it looks much more complex than I thought. The thing is that when you tell yourself, when I tell myself, it looks much more complex than I thought, then chances are that you, me, we feel disheartened. And when I feel disheartened, what I do is that I gather evidence. I look at everything I've got to teach, all the topics, all the dis differences between the curriculum and where they're at. That's the first thing that I do. Second thing that I do is that I compare. I compare and despair I, when I look at the ideal and when I look at my reality. The third thing that I do when I feel disheartened is that I complain either out loud to my colleagues or to myself in my own head and it goes like this but what can I do I don't know what to do and what's interesting is that I don't answer my questions but I create confusion and I stay in that confusion so of course number four what I do or what I don't do when I'm feeling disheartened is that I don't create a plan of action so of course I don't set new actions in motion and of course all behavior always has an impact in our lives. So for instance, when I gather evidence, when I compare and despair, when I complain in my head, when I don't create a plan of action, as a result, obviously, I make my teaching life much more complex. What's interesting here is that I'm not feeling disheartened, you're not feeling disheartened, people are not feeling disheartened because of the curriculum, because of the student's level. We are feeling disheartened because we're thinking a thought and we believe in that thought. In that case, it is, it looks much more complex than I thought. It's not the curriculum. Let's say that it's got this level. It's got this a number of items in this curriculum and the pupils level are here maybe with this number of skills that they've um, learned right? So there's a level here, there's another level he here, that's it. The difference in the levels cannot create an emotion, be it disheartened or motivated or excited or anything, right? We have two different levels, that's it. If we're feeling disheartened, it's only because we're choosing to think it looks much more complex than I thought. So when I complain in my head, it has nothing to do with the curriculum or with the pupil's level. When I complain in my head, it's only because I'm choosing to feel disheartened, because I'm choosing to believe it looks much more complex than I thought. And when I make my teaching life much more complex, it has nothing to do with the difference between the curriculum and the, the pupil's level. They're just, as I said, two different levels that can't create a more complex teaching life for me, even though many people believe it does, right? But if I'm thinking it looks much more complex than I thought it is, it was, then that's why I'm creating this result of making my life much more complex because I'm thinking a lot, complaining a lot in my head, comparing and despairing, but not creating a plan of action. As always, my favorite part is this good news. You don't have to think, I don't have to think, it looks much more, much more complex than it is. It's just an option that 
I happen to be choosing, but it's not the only option, which is so good. And I love this analogy of the menu. Okay, right now, <laughs> I'm choosing this thought by default, but look at the menu. <laughs> there are so many more options for me to think and choose. And the problem with that thought, it looks much more complex than it is, is threefold. The first one is when, whenever I tell myself it, or when, whenever my clients tell themselves it looks much more complex than, it, than I thought, it's as if they're not focusing on their lane, what's in their control, but it's as if they're describing something that's completely out of their control, something that they can do nothing about, which is the perfect recipe to feel out of control, to feel no uh, responsibility, no power ever. Not the best place for, for, for me to be, at least. Second thing that I'm noticing in that sentence, it looks much more complex than I thought it would be, is this idea, this label of complex. And complex is usually quite a negative label. It's something that I choose to, it's the way I choose to interpret the teaching with. Um, and what I like to think is that at some point, it must have served me to believe this teaching, this maybe this lesson, this part of the curriculum, this was difficult, this was complex. But if I look at it, if I see that what I'm thinking, it looks, it looks much more complex than it is. And if I see, if I realize that when I think that I create a much more complex life, then I'm thinking, mm, it looks well intended, it looks well meaning, but actually it's not helping me at all. It's not helping my pupils either. <laughs> right? And the third thing, the third problem that I'm noticing in that thought, it looks much more complex than I thought it would be, is this degree, much more. It's not just complex, which is already, as I said, negative in and of itself, but it's more complex. And if it's much more complex, it's as if we're <laughs> turning up the volume with a remote control or dialing it up, instead of just saying, okay, complex, no, more complex, much more complex. We're amplifying the energy that is pretty negative because it makes us feel disheartened, which is, as always, an option. So, as always, we've noticed. We've noticed that thought. It looks much more complex than I thought it would be. And then we can question it. So, the question is really about, okay, why am I choosing to think that it looks much more complex than it is. And it could be, okay, how is that serving me, right? What is the benefit for me of thinking and believing it looks much more complex than I thought? And then the third phase, the third step is to decide, to decide to think something that's probably going to serve us better. For instance, here are three propositions. The first one could be, as always, to go back to the facts here in this sentence it looks much more complex than it is, than I thought it would be, we can go back to the facts, which is curriculum says X, level X, the uh, expectations from the curriculum are X. And the kid's level, the pupil's level is, let's say, Y, right? And I can choose, that's a problem. The second suggestion could be to actually take ownership of that thought. And I love that idea of taking a step back, just like not being in the thought, believing the sentence, but noticing it's a thought. And it's simply like this. I'm thinking it's complex and there's nothing wrong with that. Right? It's just realizing that it's an option. And the third option could be to simply to think it may be less complex than it, I think it is. I've decided to label it as complex. Could be wrong about that. So what am I inv inviting you to do now is to find out the areas in your life where you think something is complex, difficult, hard, right? And it could be this very same situation with the curriculum and the people's level. It could be anything else. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was really useful for you. If you know someone who would benefit from it, please share with him, with her, with them. And actually speaking of them, the best way perhaps to do that is simply to put it on social media, whatever platform you use, please share and send this video to the people who might need it. Is there a topic that you'd like me to address? Well, if so, shoot me an email, tell me everything about it, and I'd love to help you 
with a future video, simply send me an email at nscoaching at outlook.fr. I'm wishing you a very nice rest of your day. See you soon. Bye.